Today I'm going to talk about mental health. And mental health is, is sometimes considered a taboo subject. People don't want to talk about it. It's uh, like a hush-hush. Um, you know, see no evil, hear no evil, speak no evil idea. But it's one of those things that has to be uh, talked about. And a book that I'm reading now is by Richard Davidson. It's called The Emotional Life of Your Brain. And one of the things that he asserts in that book is that I would go so far to assert that all of those forms of, of human behavior and psychological states, the most powerful influence on our physical health is, is our mental health. And one of the things that, that I firmly believe that is that if you're not mentally healthy, then you cannot be physically healthy, 100% um, physical healthy. Um, because if, you know, if things aren't right here, then things are not going to be right everywhere else. And, um, and that's one of the things that I firmly believe, and Richard Davidson reasserts that in his professional opinion. And Richard Davidson, just to tell you who he is, he's a Williams and James and Vilas Research Professor of Psychology and Psychiatry, Director of the Wayman Laboratory for Brain Imaging and Behavior in the Laboratory for Effective Neuroscience, Founder and Chair of the Center for Investigating Healthy Minds in Wayman Center at the University of Wisconsin in Madison. So he's not one of these people that just is throwing around ideas and is like, hey, this is what I've got. This is this is 30 years of research that he's been doing. And and it's it's the emotional healthier brain. He has six ideas that he has that he that he that he brings up in the book, and a lot of it is about self awareness. How how are how aware are we about ourselves? Um, uh, outlook. How do we perceive things? You know, how do we recover from um, setbacks and adversities? How resilient are we? And there's a few other th a few other ideas that he that he has in the book. I can't, I can't remember off the top of my head. Um, Richard Davidson, uh, this person right here, uh, is a very highly sought after individual in psychology and psychiatry, and he is not one of these people to be taken lightly. You know, his his idea is is. Uh, is one of these things that is very, very um, respected and renowned. Another person that I want to bring up is Les Brown. He's a highly sought after. Um, he's a highly sought after a motivational speaker by Fortune 500 uh, companies, and he's also a former multi-term representative from Ohio. And uh, he has this quote here. Change your thinking and change your life. Your thoughts create your reality. Practice positive thinking. Act the way you want to be, and soon you will be the way you act. And I say that all the time. You want to change your life, change your thinking. And and, and that's that's true about myself. You know, and one of the ways that we do that is through this right here. It's cognitive behavior therapy. And one of these things is is it's a very specific approach, you know, specific and strategic psychological approach. You can read. I'm not going to sit here and read to you, but you know, it's a talking therapy that can help you. That help you can. It can help you manage your most your problems by changing how you think and behave. It's most commonly used to treat anxiety and depression, but can be useful for other mental and physical problems, uh, health problems, mental health problems. Um, you know, there are sports psychologists, sports psychiatrists out there um, that are that are really big about cognitive cognitive behavioral therapy because it's change the way you think and you'll change your life, change your reality. The way you change your reality is you is is you is the way you think about things. You may not be able to change your circumstance circumstances. But you can change the way you think about your circumstances. And Les Brown, he um, he reinforces that. Another person is this is this lady here, Brittany um, Bergunder, 
a certified personal life coach who said mindset is everything like the eye of a storm find the sunshine and calm within you even if there's chaos outside of you and so a lot of times when we sit here and we wonder why things are the way that they are a lot of it is this the way that we think about things and mindset is everything it's the way you go into a situation the way that you um, that you approach life the way that you approach circumstances the way you approach um, situations the way that you go into meetings the way that you go into sports the way that you go into anything in life mindset is everything now one thing that I do want to bring up here is this right here myths about mental health issues you know one of the myths is uh, mental health can't myth, myth, mental health issues can't affect me well here's the facts y'all can read the facts one in five American and this is in 2020 the year of COVID shutdown uh, one in five American adults experience a mental health condition in a given year okay one in six young people have experienced a major depressive episode one in 20 Americans have lived with serious mental health, mental mental illness, such as schizophrenia, bipolar disorder, and major depression. And you can read the last part. Uh, suicide. Suicide accounted for the loss of more than 45,979 American lives in 2020, nearly double the amount of lives lost to, lost to homicide. That's in 2020. And it also was the second leading cause of death for between the ages for people between the ages of 10 to 24 that's just something i want y'all to think about it's just been something that's been weighing on weighing on my mind and i hope that you read i hope you read the, 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 the statistics and you look at this video and i pray that, that that it changes the way that you that you think about mental health and that it's not a taboo subject it needs to be talked about it needs to be discussed. We've got to have a discussion about this. And I'm not going to bring up my my issues with mental health because that's my personal business. And but if, again, if you've got questions for me, you know, you can ask them in the in the comment section uh, below. And if you like what you hear, hit that subscribe button. And I just I just pray that you just continue to come back and. And uh, watch the watch the videos, and and I hope that uh, you have a great rest of your day and a great and your great a great rest of your weekend.